<coughs> Hello everyone, my name is Raro Zaizo. Welcome to my channel. Yes, I'm in the balcony. Yes, we have a balcony. No, we don't have sandbags and AK-47s. <sighs> These stereotypes. Today, I'm gonna tell you a story about a little kid named Sid. Before Sid was born, there was no Sid. Like, duh. Sid was born from his mother. A really old woman with many years of experience. Okay, enough metaphors. Okay? I didn't understand anything and I've written this script. Sid is the mascot of a ROM I'm sure you've heard of. Cyanogen mod, or CM for short. And this ROM originated from CAF, which is AOSP based after all. I know, a lot of acronyms, but you'll get used to that. All custom ROMs are AOSP based. AOSP means Android Open Source Project. It's made and maintained by Google. AOSP is almost exactly what you get on a Nexus device. Emphasis on the word almost. Since what you run on a Nexus is basically AOSP with Google's apps added to it. AOSP is basically anything open sourced. Since Google's apps like YouTube, Gmail, Hangouts, Chrome, Play Store and all of that are closed source, what you get on the Nexus is basically AOSP with Google Apps. I like to call it a Nexus version of AOSP. A Nexus-like, a Nexus, a, a Nexus ROM. Yeah. So, a guy comes with great knowledge in C and Java. Let's call him a developer. He downloads all of the AOSP source code, which is much more than 10 gigabytes. He modifies that code and maybe add a feature that's currently not available in the AOSP code. Then he compiles the code and makes a zip file with all that compiled code in. That zip file is shared with the users and those users can install that zip file on their specific device the dev is working on. And that's basically how a ROM gets created. From AOSP sources, add some custom code, compile, send. Updates to a ROM is the same. The developer already has his own modified version of the ROM. He just have to modify it even more. And then compile, and then send again. But, here's a little problem. There are what you call original developers and there's what you call kangers and cherry pickers kangers are these guys that take someone's original code sticks it to his rom and then calls it his own it's roms like pack and liquid smooth that you see have a ton of features in them they did not create any of them in fact they only cherry picked the code from original developers in fact they cherry picked the code from all developers and then compiled that code and called it theirs. This makes it a big problem when an original developer works on a feature on his own ROM and for example he's aiming for perfection and then right before he releases that feature into his ROM a kanger just cherry picks it and then makes a huge advertisement that this feature is now in his tank of a ROM. So when the original developer releases that feature, which is perfect, to the eye of the users, he's already too late. They're already enjoying a half-working, bugged-up feature in a compilation of what seems to be a ROM with every unfinished feature ever. Pack. If you want an analogy, I make a video, like this one. Other channels make other videos like other videos. Then a channel spawns and basically steals cool videos from every other channel out there and then makes one long video that has everything in there. Viewers might be happy with that but the problem is that this channel didn't do anything other than picking stuff up and then sticking them into a long video. That's what's currently happening in the Android world and that's a big problem. If you want to see what Android can really do and you can stand a reboot or two a day, go ahead and use a Kang ROM. You'll be boasting about it to all of your iOS friends for sure. Just make sure it doesn't suddenly reboot while you're boasting about it. That would be a major problem. But if you want to use stable features, clean code and a fast ROM, make sure you use an original ROM like CyanogenMod, Slim, Omni and the like. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. 
Please share this video so that everybody knows what's going on and maybe some users would see the light. Like this video if you did, subscribe to my channel down there for more content like this. This was Rado Zaizo on how a ROM gets created and I'll see you soon.